Okay, we've got a little bit of cleaning up to do on our Minesweeper game. And I scroll down to the bottom of the instructions, and uh, we're looking at winning, losing game states. And it says player loses when he left clicks on a bomb, so we'll set the game state to game over lose. Uh, he wins when he's identified all bombs by right clicking and planting a flag on each bomb, and the game state is game over win. The player may not plant more than 10 flags. If 10 flags have been planted and a player tries to plant an 11th, we do not allow him to do it, so we must unplant one first. So we're going to have to count how many flags have been planted. And if it's 10 and they try to plant another one, then they're, they can't do it. Um, and we also need to keep track of how many flags actually identify real bombs. Uh, they might make a mistake. So um, when the number of bombs correctly identifies is 10, uh, the game is over and the player wins. Okay, so we need some, some uh, game states here. Let's go back over to our program. And let me go back up to the top. And uh, in this original code that we started off with, I did not um, allow for game states. So let's do that here. We don't need the game over here. We'll do game states instead. So we need to declare a numerated uh, type called game states. And the values are going to be uh, game over lose, game over win. Uh, and playing. Okay. And then we need a variable uh, of that type. So uh, game states, and we'll call it game state with the lowercase g. Okay. The beginning, uh, we assume that uh, game state playing. And we're also going to need a um, couple of integer variables, flags planted, and bombs located. And initially both of those are going to be zero. So that initialize. Um, flags planted equals zero and um, bombs located equals zero. So Whenever they right-click, um, that means they're trying to plant a flag. So um, here's where we find out if they have clicked on the right button. And uh, if we are switching from being covered to being uncovered, uh, now we have to do two things. Uh, we have to actually, I think we have to do three things here. So uh, it's covered up, and there's not a flag there. So uh, flags, we've got to count the flag as being planted. And if there's a bomb there, so if there's a bomb there, then uh, we will uh, increment uh, bombs located. Um, down here, uh, when they right click, they are turning off a flag. And so what we have to do is uh, flags planted minus minus. And if, if there was a bomb there and they turn it off, then we have to decrement our bombs located. So And when they plant a flag up here, uh, if bombs located is equal to, and I do not remember the name of my constant, so let's go up here to the top, uh, and it's, it's board size. Um, I'm not sure how that works with larger boards, um, but it doesn't really matter because we're only doing the one size. So. Uh, board size, uh, then game state equals over win. Okay. And um, when um, up here, 
So instead of doing exit, we're going to set our game state to game over lose. So if we go to game state, uh, game over lose, uh, then what we need to do is show all the bombs. And all we need to do is have a little check down here that says, um, let me see, if game over lose, well, we'll just write them on top. Okay, so uh, if game state is game over lose, uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my for loops and Okay, and what I want to do is um, if cell dot has bomb, and I'm going to draw it. And it's going to be bomb texture, comma, uh, r comma c dot position, comma, r color dot white okay and let's try and run that now and we'll start up here and i'm just going to deliberately lose the game one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay it doesn't say that i lost but uh the game state is and I should probably uh, have it stop responding. So we need to go back and put some of that inside of uh, an if statement that checks to see if the game state is playing. Uh, now let me run it again. I'm going to try to win it. Uh, I don't know if that will be easy to do or not. Start here. Okay, so I can get all of his neighbors. I can get all of his neighbors. Get all of his neighbors and all of his neighbors. I can get all of his neighbors. I can get all of his neighbors. Okay. I can get all of his neighbors. His neighbors. Okay, so I'm gonna start from the other end here. I get all this guy's neighbors. Okay, I can take all my zeros here and get their neighbors. Okay. So um, I'm gonna plan I know I've got one there. And just to test my code, I'm going to try planning a second, and a third, and a fourth, and a fifth, and a sixth, and a seventh, and an eighth, and a ninth, and a tenth, and an eleventh. And it did let me do the, okay, it's still letting me do it. Um, so I got some fixing up to do. So let's get out of here. And so that's going to be on my right click. Okay, and so if, and this is my code for a right click. Uh, if it is, um, Likes planet plus plus as a bomb bombs located and um, nowhere do I check to see if um, I can only do this if flags planted is less than or equal to board size. So open it there and close it there. Okay, so uh, they can plant the flag. We indicate that it's on this cell. We can count it. Uh, if there's a bomb, we locate it. And if we've done that, then uh, game is over. Okay, now let's try to run it again. And I'm just going to try to right click all the way across the first row here. That last one should be the last one that lets me do. And uh, let me do 11. Okay, let's, let's, uh, if flags planted is less than board size, not less than or equal to. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that fixes that bug. And the last thing we're going to try to do then is we are going to try to identify 
all of the flags or all of the bombs. So I'll click here and do all of his neighbors. I can do all of their neighbors. I can do all that guy's neighbors. I can do all of this guy's neighbors. So I can always do the neighbor of my zeros. Okay, so I got a bunch of them I can do here. And I can do all these here. That's a zero. Neighbors of the zero. Okay. Uh, let's go up here. Uh, I can do all of his neighbors. I can do all of his neighbors. I can do all of his neighbors. Okay, so I know there's one there. Okay. Uh, over here, this guy's. Okay, so this guy only has one neighbor. It's got to be right here. Okay. Um, this guy only has, these three guys all have one neighbor. And so I'm thinking it has to be here. And that'll give this guy two neighbors, this guy two neighbors, or two flags. And, uh, so we'll put a flag there. And, um, so this one has one bomb neighbor. I've taken care of that. So these two cannot be, um, <clears throat> Let's see, this has three neighbors, this guy has one neighbor. Um, you reach a point in some of these where you have to guess. Uh, this guy has zero neighbors, so that's going to be a zero. Um, let me see. This guy only has one neighbor, so there's going to be a bomb there. This guy has two neighbors, so there's going to be a bomb there. Um, this guy has two uh could be the one of those uh let's see if we can fill some stuff in over here so this guy has three neighbors and this guy has three neighbors this guy has one neighbor uh these all have one neighbor so uh i've taken care of all this this guy's neighbors right here so this has to be a bomb that takes care of this guy's um so this guy has one and it's right there so i can do this and this and this and this and this and then I'll get a zero, so I can do that. So this guy's got one neighbor. There's only one left. It's got to be here. What am I up to now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got to find three more. Um, this guy has one uh, bomb for neighbor. It's this one, so I can click on this and this. Uh, these each have three, so I can click on this. and it takes care of this guy. Uh, this guy has two neighbors. This guy has one, so here's his neighbor. So I can, I know there's not one here or here. Uh, this guy has three, so there must be a bomb there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I have to identify one more. So this guy's got two. I've taken care of his. So if those are his two neighbors, there can't be anybody here. Uh, that's his neighbor. So there's nothing here and there's nothing here. Um, that's his neighbor. So there's nothing here and nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. So I just got, now I have to figure out um, those are good. Uh, that guy has two neighbors, one here, and the tenth one, I'm down to my last one. So this guy has to have two neighbors too, so it's got to be right here. Yeah. Okay. And I have won the game. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't do anything special when I won the game, but I have planted ten flags, and I have not hit a bomb. So I have won the game, and uh, we spent enough time on this program, so we will stop there.